Hi everybody, I'm Tara Gaines. Today we're gonna to be doing a fun four round, four time workout consisting of pistols, rotating jumps, lying leg raises, and push-ups. All right, um, check in the description below for the timestamps, but we're gonna go and talk about each movement for a little bit of a warm up and a little bit of scaling. All right, guys, let's talk about these pistols, okay? A pistol is a single leg squat. Uh, if you are a roller skater, you might be familiar with shoot the duck. It's kind of like that. Your standing leg is the working leg. You'll stand on it. You'll extend the other foot out in front of you, bend down and stand back up, okay? Um, scaling in a descending order, keep the standing leg, step the other foot in line with the ankle up on the ball of the toe, right? Squat here and stand back up, okay? This is not a two leg exercise. You have a working leg and an assisting leg, all right? Make sure that your primary mover is doing most of the work, all right? Alternate legs as you go. The next variation is stacking both feet in front of each other, the front leg being the working leg, coming down and standing up. This variation helps you, <laughs> this variation helps you with the balance, right, of the pistol, which is essential. Alternate the front foot as you're going through the things. This back foot might come up off the ground a little bit, that's absolutely okay. Just make sure that you're still using the front leg as your primary mover, all right? And the last scale version of this is feet together, heels and toes together, squat down as far as is comfortable and bring yourself right back up to standing. Now pistols do require some ankle mobility, some knee mobility, and even some action in your hips, right? So if you're limited in that area, only go to a depth that's comfortable, work towards that mobility, right? Spend some time at the bottom of each squat uh, during the warm up, right? During warm ups. Um, try to find space in each position, all right? Next movement is your rotating jump. Now, um, if you have problems jumping, a big calf raise will be just fine. A bigger calf raise might be a little bit better. That might be a little bit too much for your ankles or um, something if you have things wrong with your feet, right? But if you feel comfortable jumping, then we jump in place. That will be the first step. Land softly, knees soft right? Absorb it through the body like a ninja, land like a ninja, right? The next variation would be to jump a quarter, a quarter, a quarter spin, right? And jumping back, right? Now, if you're like, oh, that's so easy, Tara, I can do that. Then we can add to it and do a 180, do a half circle jump, right? Jumping back to the other side, still nice and soft. Now, if that feels like it's too easy, then you can work towards woo, that three quarter jump. Okay, we commit to that one. And lastly, if you're feeling pretty good, you might go all the way around, right? All the way around. Or whoop, whoo, back the other way. It's a little bit hard. It'll probably fall apart really fast. But if you can squeeze in a couple of them, go for it. All right, pick which one you're going to commit to now, and we'll move on to the next thing. Coming down to the floor. Hands go underneath the tuchus to support the spine and the tailbone. Extend those legs out long. Bring your legs all the way over your torso. So fold at the hip, bring them all the way over. All right, extending down and bring them up, right? Give me as much crunch in those abs as possible. Now, uh, a long lever, right, is when your legs are straight and you're holding onto your hip flexors here. Like your hip flexors are working to try to keep these legs up. If that's kind of a heavy duty, thing for you at this time, then bring your knees in. Give me a big crunch that way. That way your long lever is only for a short period of time. All right, easy peasy. And the last element of this workout is push-ups, right? Now, starting push-ups, um, feet together, heels and toes together, hands underneath the shoulders. We come all the way down, touch the chest to the floor. Don't let your elbows flail out, wing out fly out, right? Keep them tucked back and down and then press it up, right? Now, if um, that seems like it's gonna be a little bit difficult, there is always the knee option, but I would rather you raise up your front end and do a full plank push up, right? So if it's too hard to do something flat on the ground like this, set yourself up so you have your hands 
up on something, maybe a stool, maybe uh, the edge of the couch, maybe um, the back of the couch, maybe a wall. It kind of depends on what level you're at right now, but I want to make sure that you're getting a full plank push up. Knees are great, but it's just not the same. I'd rather you do one real push up on a wall than a knee push up on the floor. Okay, so one more time, hands under the shoulders, no matter where your hands are, right? If they're on the wall, they're still in front of your shoulders, right? Heels and toes together, legs out straight, tuck in that belly, give me a nice ribs in, the bottom of the ribs in, and from here we go all the way down and push it back up. All right, here we go guys, it's workout time. All right guys, so this four round, four time workout, consists of 20 pistols, alternating legs, so 20 total, all right? 20 rotating jumps and 20 lying leg raises. Now the push-ups is kind of tricky because it's not 20, it's max. It's as many push-ups as you can do at the end of each round. When you score this round at the end, it'll be your total time to do the four complete rounds and the amount of push-ups that you did, okay? Let's get this ball started. Are you guys ready? Let's get this party, Paul. What am I talking about? Let's get this party started. All right. Whew. First things first is pistols. Three, two, one, go. All right, team. We have got this ball underway. Pistols, if you are doing the one foot version. Uh, again, remember that balance I was talking about during the warm up. If you need a quick hand down, go ahead and grab it. Whatever scale you're using, move to the best of your ability. Stay focused on the prize. We got this. The first round's always the worst, and then it's downhill after that. Right into the rotating jumps. Try to be soft, land like a ninja. I've committed to the 180s because they're difficult enough, but I can move quickly through them. They're difficult enough, you can see why I'm saying that. Lying leg raises are pretty, are pretty quick for me. Again, whichever scale version you've chosen, do the best you can, move through it. I want 10 push-ups each round. Don't waste any energy on the negative, guys. Don't waste any energy on the negative. That means going down to the ground don't waste your strength on that portion of the push-up. Cool. Moving right on through to round two. I gotta try to get my heels to ground, otherwise I'm gonna keep having trouble with this balance. I got a little cramp on my foot there. Working through it. Finding my balance. One at a time. One closer to done. Rotating jumps, guys, make sure you're, if you're having an easy time with the rotating jumps, you definitely need to increase your scale. Make it a little bit more difficult. The idea is to be challenged and finish, not just finish.
We want to be better than when we started. Second round of lying leg raises, your core might be getting on fire. It's supposed to, it's gonna do that. Just keep working. You're almost done. No resting during the push-up. Max means as many as you can do not as many as you can do with a 10 second rest in between. Get the push-ups done. Halfway done, guys. We are halfway done with this workout. We are doing amazing. Keep it going. Good work. Good fight. Don't let your mind start thinking negatively. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. We got it, we got it, we got it. Here we go, now we're jumping. All oh, the hair is coming out. That means business. We are serious business now. Wasting no time in between movements. Wasting no time in between reps. Just getting it done. Body always feels better after the workout. Push-ups, no rest during the push-ups. Just get what you can get. It'll be better next time. Hair flips don't count. You can do as many hair flips in between push-ups as you want. <laughs> Last round, guys. Here we go. Last round. Woot. Make this the best one. If you are pacing yourself or holding on to anything, let it go. Let it loose. Open the gates. Move well, guys. I know we're in a hurry and everything, but make sure you're moving well. Quality. <gasps> oh my God. The majestic pit bull is showing himself on the screen. He's more concerned about the pack liter than he is what he just saw. <laughs> here we go guys here we go finish up the dogs are ready to leave let's get this done god this guy is so polite straight down just the lying leg raises and the push-ups left Come on guys, stay strong, push through. You got this. This will be the hardest thing you do all day. Ha! Here we go, here we go, this is it. Max push-ups. Ah. 
What are you doing, Tara? No resting. I want ten. I want ten. Time. Oh yeah. Oh man. Whoop de boop boop. Give that little doggy love. Gotta catch my breath before I talk. All right, guys. Oh, that was good, huh? I wanted to get 10 push-ups every round. Success. Whew. It's coming, it's coming, hold on. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for joining me today. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. Write down what you got, what you did to modify. Let me know how many push-ups you did. Whew. That was a goodie. I feel like torn up all right here. <laughs> all right, guys. Enjoy your day. Enjoy yourselves. And remember, your only competition is in the mirror. Whew. You ready to go? Let's get going. Let's get going. List of exercises done. Let's get to the workout. You wanna go for a walk, huh? <laughs>